Uh, the topic was of chat GPT and MS Excel, how we can use chat, chat GPT with MS Excel. So one thing is that AI will not replace you, uh, a person using AI will. This is a famous saying by the uh, Elon Musk. The purpose behind is that the AI is coming and people were, uh, you know, telling about that AI is coming, AI is coming. Both AI is not going to replace you, but if you start using and a person who is able to do the work of 10, 10 people, that person is actually threat. So you should learn AI and you should know that how you can ask AI to work for you. My today's topic is that uh, uh, how we can, you know, generate uh, VBAs uh, from Excel and uh, how we can help professionals for sending the mails. Uh, I'm using my case studies. There will be three case studies which uh, uh, are there. Uh, I've seen that a uh, lot of professionals face difficulties while filing, uh, asking the data from their clients. When we need to ask the data for uh, in a month, GSTR1, then uh, TDS, then GSTR3B, then uh, text audit, and various other data. Imagine you have hundreds of the clients and with hundreds of the clients, professionals are sending the mails, uh, either through the mails one by one or through the BCC or through the WhatsApp groups. But it's not possible to send mails uh, to each and every person. And if you do the BCC, it does not give the good impression to the clients that you know how you are uh, sending the mails because you are not uh, mentioning their names as well if you are doing the BCC and in BCC sometimes the mail goes into the spam. So with the help of the AI, I have created this uh, VBA code. Let me uh, go into my prompt. In this prompt, I have mentioned that what informations I have need uh, to send the mail. To send the mails, I need the email ID, I need the month for which uh, I need the data, I need the written type and date by when we want the data. Each and everything is written here. Email ID of the clients is written here. Uh, to save the time, the prompt is already written. So I'll copy this prompt and simply go to the chat GPT and uh, paste this code uh, to the chat GPT. Chat GPT will give me the VBA code and that VBA code along with the VBA code, chat GPT will also tell me how to paste this code, where to paste this code. And after that, uh, our VBA is ready. So this is the code which chat GPT is generating. So this code I have already written here and already I have pasted this code into my Excel. Here is my Excel file, Alt F11, which ChatGPT will tell me to paste that code uh, at Alt F11. So Alt F11 and then insert module. So already at Alt F11 and insert module, this code is pasted. The only thing I need to do is just to click on the send emails once I click on the send emails, uh, it will also send the emails along with that. After sending the emails, a message will generate that all's email has been sent. And I will show you the demonstration on the sent items that all's emails has been sent along with the uh, specific message uh, of the each and every person. So that mail has been sent. This message is coming. Now let's go to the my sent items and see this that 1802, 1803 mails is going to be sent to each and every person. The name of the person is specifically mentioned because it does not give good impression if you are sending dear sir and madam. I want that client should be, you know, sent mail along with their name. So here each person, each client's name is mentioned. It has been mentioned that due date is R1, uh, due date is uh, approaching for the month of March. Please share the data by 7th and uh, last date is 11th. If we will not get data by 7th. We will not uh, say that it is our responsibility because many times we we have seen that if we miss the uh, sending mails to the client, although it's client responsibility also to share the data, but client blames on us that, you know, you have not shared the data, so, uh, ask the data. So that's why we have not shared it. So in this mail, you will not be able to skip any of the clients, whether the mail has been sent or not. So all your client's uh, name will be mentioned here and the mail will be sent. The best part is that in this R1, just change it to the 3B and the mail will be sent for the 3B. Just need to change the date instead of 7th. Let's suppose the data is sent, uh, uh, we need data by 17th and the due date is 20th. We can simply say to the clients that, sir, we have already sent the mails, but you have not provided the uh, data. So it is not our responsibility. It is not our mistake that uh, mail was not sent on time. Mail was already sent on time, but you have missed uh, to reply. And in our mail, we have clearly mentioned that if data will not come by this time, it is not our responsibility. It will be the responsibility of the client. So this time you can see on the mail subject, GSTR 3B is coming. Here you can see the GSTR 3B is coming. 
date has been changed to 17th and this due date has been changed to 20th rest all the things are same anything uh, somebody wants to change we can change it uh, as per our requirement uh, in the last mail the mail was sent for the r1 then mail was this time the mail was sent for the 3b you can send this mail to hundreds of your clients without wasting one time just one click and mail will be sent to hundreds of the clients 200s of the clients so it will save a lot of time uh, to send each mail one by one to each person. Next thing is that once we have sent the mail, we need to send the invoices as well. And we face very difficulty in sending the invoices that each invoices we need to send it one by one. Here with just one click, we can send invoices to hundreds of the clients and each person will be getting their part of invoices. Note the one invoice, separate invoice for the separate person. So here you can see that uh, in my outlooks now, see this invoice. This invoice is coming for the Abhishek. We have already mentioned what is the amount due, what is the due date, why this in bill was generated. Each and everything is been mentioned. Imagine there are 100, 200, 500 of the clients. I've seen that people are sending invoices one by one, either on the WhatsApp or uh, through the Telegram and uh, through the mail. But it takes a lot of time to send these invoices. Instead of that, we just return the prompt and ChatGPT has provided uh, this mechanism wherein we just click on one button, all the invoices are there in this folder. It can be 100 invoices, 200 invoices, and all these invoices will be sent to the clients with just one click. And in that case, uh, we will not be able to do the clerical work. We will not be uh, wasting a lot of time. We will be simply uh, sending the mails with just one click. And last thing is that sending the payment reminders. We forgot, we do not want to waste a lot of time on sending the payment reminders because we are busy with a lot of things uh, with the income tax GST. And at this time, it is very important that we should get the payments on time. And uh, any person, any clients also uh, wants to use this, they can also use it. They simply need to mention the name of the person, uh, email ID of the clients, invoice amount and period and invoice services availed. Just click on this send button, the mail will be sent. So how this has been done, this is been done through this VBA and uh, through this prompts. This prompt is written here for the reminder for payment that we know we need the payment on time and each and everything is written in this prompt. This prompt is- the last two minutes. <laughs> This prompt is being copied to the chat GPT and chat GPT is providing us the code and that code we are simply just pasting into the Excel and just uh, after that everything else is the automated. We just need to click once uh, button and everything is being done through the uh, Excel and uh, VBA. So 100, 200, 500 of the clients, we just send mails or imagine we need to send mails four or five times in a month for asking the data. It can be done with just one click without even any fear that we will miss any clients, whether the client is actually getting the mails or not. So this code is being getting generated. This code is already written here with ChatGPT has given. And we will be just pasting this code into the old F11 for this payment reminder. And this code is already there. I close this and I'll install the button as well. Instead of button, if simply we want to run the macro by using old effort, that also we can do the three macros in this sheet. So we can uh, use this macro as well. So it is uh, before that, uh, chat GPT was right. It is not possible for us to write these codes because uh, we are not the technical person. But with the chat GPT, if you know that what you want to do and uh, how you want that uh, AI to work for you, then you can simply write the prompts, give you a command, and chat GPT will give you the VBA code. And you can use these VBA code uh, to do a lot of work, and it will help you to save a lot of time. So this was from my side, sir.